Okay, we're sailing down the middle of Loch Ness. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. It's a hot day and it's been a tough day. We've walked up to one of the waterfalls and now I want my dram of single malt scotch whiskey, but it's going to be warm. So what do I do? How do I get ice in the middle of Loch Ness? Well, we have here the ice maker, the inverter, and I have in this my Tesla battery, which I normally use to power the motors, but I can also use that to power the inverter and to power the ice maker. So we just turn the system on. These are solar charge controllers that charge the battery through the solar panels. Turn the inverter on, and then turn the ice maker on. It takes a little while while it fills with water and then the compressor will start. There, the compressor started. Now I have got a watt meter here, which shows us how much power went into that to start it. We've got about 90 watts being used by the ice maker, but it also shows what the peak power used was. And it shows the total amount of power used, 1.3 watt hours now, this is shown in this bit here. And here it's showing the maximum voltage, it was 21 volts. The peak power was 487.4 watts. So that's the power that it used in order to start the compressor in the ice maker. And that shows that you really need a very big inverter, far bigger than a 300 watt inverter, in order to power an ice maker. And this is a 3000 watt inverter. So it takes about nine minutes and then it will produce the ice, the first batch of ice, and then I'll just keep producing and producing and producing, and that'll be plenty to cool down my whiskey. So it's just getting the ice out here. It heats up those rods and the little ice cubes fall off. And it spits them out to the front. into my glass and I get a nice cold bit of single malt island whiskey. Cheers.